Hello everyone, my name is Zhong Wei Zhou. Our paper provides a pre-trained 3D model, which learn representation directly from large amount of unlabeled images to generate powerful target models through transport learning. So we nicknamed these generic models as models genesis. Nowadays, ImageNet-based transport learning is a common practice in medical image analysis. In contrast, our model genesis are different from ImageNet models in three ways. First, we pre-train models directly in medical images, while ImageNet models train in natural images. We believe that transport learning from medical image to medical image will be more powerful than from natural to medical image. Second, model genesis are formed in 3D, while ImageNet models have to be trained in 2D. Most popular mod medical modalities are formed in 3D, such as CT and MRI. To fit the ImageNet-based transport learning paradigm, we have to solve a 3D problem in 2D, which definitely loses spatial information and inevitably compromises the performance. We believe that 3D imaging tasks should be solved in 3D. And most importantly, ImageNet demands a huge, huge amount of annotation effort, while our model genesis are pre-trained in self-supervised learning way without using any label tag with data set. And I will show you our model genesis even without any human annotation or perform ImageNet model. Here is the diagram of our self-supervised learning framework. We designed it as a simple image restoration task. Given an image, we first deform it, and then let the model learn to restore the original image. We adopt VNet architecture. The ground truth is the original image, and the input is the deformed image. To deform an image, we propose four different approaches. First, nonlinear transformation. In CT images, the Hansford unit, sorry, the pixel intensity of air, organ, or bone have to be in a certain Hansfield unit, which means the CT scan itself naturally comes with the pixel-wise annotation. Therefore, we apply nonlinear translating function on the CT images and let the model learn to restore the original intensity value. By doing so, the model must learn from the organ appearance, including shape and intensity distribution. Second, the local pixel shuffling. We randomly shuffle the pixel position within a small range of image and let the model learn to recover the original image. By doing so, the model must learn from the organ texture and the local boundaries. We also have image outpainting and inpainting, where the small regions are, are hidden from the model by random numbers. In outpaintings, to restore the original image, the model must learn from the organ spatial layout and global geometry by extrapolation. And in inpainting, the model must learn from the local continuities of organs by interpolation. We combine these four deformations together to allow the model to learn from multiple perspectives. Our ablation study shows that the combined approach show more robust compared with each individual. Also, our self-supervised learning framework is scalable enough because it is easy to incorporate any other meaningful image deformation. After pre-training, the encoder could be used for target classification task, and the encoder-decoder together could be used for target segmentation task. We have evaluated our model genesis in seven different medical applications, including classification and segmentation on CT, MRI, ultrasound, and X-ray images across disease and organs. I will present to you the major conclusion here. First thing first, 3D models are critical to utilize spatial information offered by 3D medical imaging. 
However, training 3D model from beginning is not easy because they usually have more parameters to optimize. Two out of three target applications shows that they perform equivalent or sometimes even worse than 2D ImageNet models. But our 3D model genesis consistently outperforms 3D model learned from scratch. Here the red bar is our model genesis and the gray one is the 3D model learned from scratch. Moreover, our 3D model genesis consistently outperform any 2D approaches, including state-of-art image and model, and our model genesis in 2D. We here introduce degree 2D model genesis to have an apple-to-apple -apple comparison with image net model. As shown in the figures, our 2D model genesis 2D, our model genesis 2D offer performance equivalent to image net model. This result is unprecedented because no self-supervised method have thus far performed as well as ImageNet model. Through all seven applications, we envision that our model genesis may serve as the primary resource of 3D transport learning in medical images. In this paper, we only train model genesis on Luna 16 and the NIH chest X-ray without using any label tag with the dataset. We plan to pre-train model genesis on other body regions and other modalities such as MRI, and eventually we want to train model genesis on all the available image data on the internet. We make the development of model genesis open science and invite researchers around the world to contribute to this effort. We hope that our collective effort could lead to the holy grail of model genesis, effective across disease, organs, and modality. For more information, please join us tomorrow for the poster session. Thank you. Thanks for the presentation. So the last talk is decoding brain functional